Yeah. Am I? Who? Uh, well, they must have heard some. Oh, yeah. well, no, because we've just <clears> been talking. <throat> yeah. They didn't hear anything. Poo, willies, bananas. It... <laughs> yeah. This is where they're like, Snow Panda, you weren't muted. You were. I don't Good. know why, by default, my OBS wanted us to be muted now, but... I, I mean, that's, that's probably say. Yeah, I mean, I uh, thank you. You guess, know, you never know what I'm going to say at this point. <laughs> all right, so if we're all back, which I think we are, we were going to have a look at how to do checkpoints rather than teleports, and it works much in the same way. Um, so basically, if we were to spawn here, uh, let's create, like, a... not a preset logic logic asset um let's go here let's put a speaker beep, 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 beep. there it is we don't want any text on that speaker and doesn't need to look at the target detect entity yes every avatar in range that sounds good let's decrease this one a little bit like that and message to speak send we can uh say spawn checkpoint that was not correctly spelled there we go then we put an asset spawner dude oh actually we're going to quickly oh no that, that, that's not necessary no, no, no let's just do it Okay, we're going to make the checkpoint. We're going to put an asset here with the with the tag checkpoint. And I'm not going to do the whole plant thing. I would usually do that, but we don't need to uh, at the moment for this explanation. Let's go here um, to the hierarchy. Let's select save to preset and just give it the name checkpoint. So now we can delete it and we can have an asset spawner. There we go. Asset spawner, where are you at? Let's make sure that spawns exactly where we want it to spawn. Use a preset, select that one, select our checkpoint that we just created, and we edit the message to spawn checkpoint, which was I misspelled spawn, okay, spore, spore checkpoint is going to spawn our checkpoint. Okay, so that should work just fine now if we load in. And we run away this site. It should have detected the avatar now and it should have made a, a checkpoint. Oop, let's see if we die. Yep, now we spawn here. So instead of a, a whole teleportation thing going on, we now just have a checkpoint that kind of created itself once we had reached a particular point in our experience. So it works much the same way as the teleportation. Form closing Is panda set. I did, I've closed it out and I, um, I have done an RNG. We got a low one, so whoop, whoop. between two and 26 people. We got a number three. Three? And I mean Wow. Yes, a number three. I always like the low numbers for some reason. I I do, and the low numbers or the very last number as well. So um, this person has not won a weapon crate before. Yay! <laughs> uh, so uh, congratulations over on Twitch to Cosmo Cosmos Die, which makes Ooh. sense because we're making something that looks like we're in outer space. So GG's to you. Also, Wicked You too. Those little hearts are absolutely adorable. I want them. They I are. want them in real life. Little gem like, hearts. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, I it. honestly want those in real life. I would <laughs> buy a set of those for no reason. But congratulations, uh, cute, Cosmo yeah. Dive. That yeah, congratulations, will be to you in three to four weeks' time. Your yep. name has been entered into my sheet. Congratulations for being entered into the sheet of panda. The sheet of panda. You yeah. lucky, lucky bean. Yes, they <laughs> are. And this was on a V stream. It was on a what? V stream. A V stream. Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay, now that we have looked at checkpoints, I also 
thought we should quickly have a look at uh, this one. So, not this one, I don't know why it's here. So what I wanted to look at was <laughs> somewhere else I had opened it on the page I wanted to go to, but apparently it's changed. There we go, April Festival. So today we are starting the April Festival. If you uh, want to, you know, participate in that, earn rewards, all that, all that jazz. Um, we are starting the April Festival today. It ends on May the 2nd. Um, we you need to complete 200 exciting quests. So, you know, more experiences coming on the alpha map. Um, you can win mystery boxes and all of that. So remember that that's going on. And yep, I think we are, uh, you know, kind of done with the whole teleport thing. So if you have any questions about teleporting or something that you would like to do in relation to teleporting or checkpoints, let me know. We don't have a lot of time left, but that's all good. I try it, but my building Please. skills only get me to build cubes over cubes over cubes. <laughs> so, Death First, if you do want to learn how to do better Vox Edit stuff, uh, definitely check out either the Vox Edit Monday stream with me uh, and V, the voice in yep. my head on those streams. This stream, I am the voice in her head. Um, or you can check out Sparky and Lula Love streams. Yes. Yes, and they stream on Tuesdays and Wednesdays pretty soon, I think it is, in like two hours' time. Am I right? Lula Love's in the chat right now. Am I right? Is Panda right? I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's... <laughs> I definitely know it's Tuesdays. Today's Wednesday. No, today, no, today is Wednesday. Oh, is it only Tuesdays? Oh, for some okay. reason I thought it was Tuesdays and Wednesdays. My bad. And okay. 10 a.m. Eastern, which is, let's convert that, 10 a.m. Eastern to UK time. So, oh, oh, much later than I thought, which is 3 p.m. UK uh -huh. time, which is 2 p.m. UTC. So, Lula Love and Sparky do Tuesdays, 2 p.m. UTC. Um, yep. and convert that to wherever you are around the world. Thank you for converting <laughs> that time. That's no problem. <laughs> We're used to dealing with a lot of different time zones and converting yeah. them constantly. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You give me the time in your your time zone. I'll convert it. It's absolutely no issue. Can you be reborn a snail or panda when you spawn like karma? I d <laughs> can you? I don't think you can. I don't think you can force somebody um, to spawn. Something I mean, you can't change. The, change. <laughs> you can't change the avatar though. I mean, How you... cool would that be though? That should be a suggestion. <laughs> can we make that a suggestion? Like a a change of avatar. So in the rules, I like, would you like can, to be like, able to cause... do that. Especially yeah, because no, like, in some games you might maybe want to play as a younger version of that person or maybe you want yeah. to play as someone oh. else, another character or oh. something like that. So I would think that would be pretty cool if you well, could go, change. Going off of Low and Soul <clears throat> saying like I'm taking this as like a snail or something, but just imagine <laughs> you start the game as a caterpillar, okay? Mm -hmm. And oh. as you complete more and more quests, you then have to become a chrysalis. Uh -huh. And you have to dodge, like you become a chrysalis and you're stuck to a plant. Um, and then you can only move from side to side. I know this isn't as <laughs> reasonable because chrysalis just stay completely still. But then that part of the game is you need to dodge the incoming spiders or bugs or something. And then when you successfully dodge, you then spawn into a butterfly. And then there's like the end of the game, like get to the most beautiful flower upon the highest peak of a mountain. That sounds like a wonderful game, Panda. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful little game. What a nice little journey. <laughs> but like something like that, like that yeah. actually sounds oh, that really would be nice. Really cool. but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I want to be able to fine. upgrade a player as the game goes. Yes. What do you mean by upgrade exactly? Like, like make, give them more armor or like. I mean, not really equipment, but like make them look different. Is well, that what? I'm associating the upgrade to being similar to the whole caterpillar becoming a chrysalis to becoming a butterfly. Uh -huh. So they they evolve over time. Basically, he wants to Pokemon. You want Pokemon? Is that what? Is that where we're going? 
Why not? <laughs> like, level up and increase the avatar to next level. Snail, 1 to 10 quest. Dog, 11 to 25 quest. Why does the snail become a dog? <laughs> Does, does the dog eat the this, snail? Like, what, what like there's a cutscene. What is the story behind this? <laughs> no, no, no. There's a cutscene. You do ten quests, and the cutscene is the dog comes along and eats the snail, and, and then, then you, you play the game the through the. Yeah, <laughs> you then become the dog because you. <laughs> and then what happens? Who eats the dog? Um, so then what happens to the dog is uh, it needs, because it's eaten a snail, although it would be better if it's a slug, because slugs can be poisonous to dogs. So then the dog eventually dies, ah. and then you become a crow because the crow pecks at the insides of the dog. Yeah, Panda is off on her <laughs> imaginative <laughs> rail again. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, absolutely. I love when you do that. I always enjoy your stories. <laughs> Uh, I like comrades as well, which is like evolve or de-evolve the player. Yep. So I cool. like a little bit like um did you ever play Fable? So when you play when you played as in that, the deeds that you did, um, you either became you could either do bad things or you could do really good things and your character oh, that's cool. would change over time. And it's really it's really easy to lean to being really good or really evil in that game. It's really hard to stay purely neutral and keep your normal luck. Yeah. That's really cool. I haven't played yeah. the game, but that sounds that's a cool mechanic. Yes, for it. I I love what Comrade yeah. wants. Um, Let's do can it. we quick do a quick overview of what you, what you have done and what people have learned today? Yes, we can. So today we have had a look at the teleport system or a teleport system that you can do in the game maker zero point eight single player. Do remember that this doesn't work multiplayer right now. Um, so basically, we've created a system where we can go here to the central pillar. We can, um, it has ASCAP behavior, we can interact with it, and we can then choose where we want to teleport to. And this one has been bugging me all this time, so I'm going to just fix it. Okay. Um, yeah, so we can choose where we want to teleport to. It's going to send a message to that location, um, to an asset in that location that'll spawn a checkpoint for us. Um, so when we select to teleport to the ice shrine, which is this one, for example, it's going to kill the player and it's going to spawn them at the checkpoint that we spawned here. Um, <clears throat> and then we are going to be able to interact with the teleportation gem here, which will give us the option to initially te teleport us back or teleport us somewhere else. Um, and once we do that, the checkpoint that we created in this location is going to be deleted because there's plat behavior on it. Um, that deletes it every time we teleport somewhere else um, because if we don't delete it we are not going to be spawning in the correct place so if we choose to spawn in the fire shrine from here and we don't delete this one we will uh, very likely spawn back at the ice shrine again so it needs to be deleted and if we spawn at the fire shrine from here it's going to create yet another checkpoint over here to this fire shrine um, and yep that's basically how that works we have a message broadcaster right here it tells the um, it tells us that every time we get a teleport message, one of the teleport messages we set up, it's going to kill our avatar, and that's going to be what makes us uh, teleport to the other checkpoints. So that's how how that works. We also quickly looked at how to make a a checkpoint system, not a teleport system. So basically, what you want to do, it's very simple. It's very similar to doing the teleport system if we have a long road here and we want to have a checkpoint halfway um, we can set up a speaker right in the middle here uh, that detects the avatar and once it detects the avatar it's going to send a message to spawn a preset that we've made with the tech checkpoint tag um, and once it does that if we die after that it's going to spawn us back at that checkpoint That's easy to get. Dogs sometimes have their noses wet. Why? Because the snail lives in there and leaves their snail trail behind. What is going on here? Dogs have wet noses because sna snails live in there? Uh, yeah, I think they're like ri they're rifting off of uh, the whole <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. rabbit okay. hole we went so. down yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's an I, interesting I just... theory to why dogs have wet nas naces? Noses? Noses? Yeah, their noses now. 
Um, so I, what I'm getting from this is people think I should write children's books. Got it. Yeah, do it. Write yeah. children's books. Yeah. I like would your you read, would, story. Would you, would you read my stories to your children? Um, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> If we're talking strictly the caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly, sure. If we're talking some of your other stories that I've heard, maybe not. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm, I'm always Depends PG on the theme. Let, let, let me put it that way. It depends <laughs> on the theme. <laughs> uh, but no, this has... V, you've done an absolute wonderful job of explaining these tutorials. Conrad is singing your praises right now. I think, Thank you. I, th I think he is going to be creating some amazing first games. Conrad, I better see you in the next game jam, the, the staff the, game the jam. The teleport game jam in the council. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah we'll, just, we'll just say to Half Dork, you've got to make it a teleportation game jam. <laughs> because then, then he can join. Conrad, yeah. Conrad will be like, right, I've got this in the bag. Let me go back to the, the stream V did. Um, and just, yeah. Yep. Assess that. Glad I could help. Um, yeah, but I think we are, we're kind of at the one minute left mark. <laughs> so I think right. we'll we'll wrap it up. Uh, we did the we did the form winner, right? Yes, we, we did. did do the form we winner. Did do the form uh, winner. Co Cosmos dive win. Yep. 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 Congratulations again for that. And also, I just want to note that next week it might not be the exact same time. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about the day as well. I'm going to update you if we're changing, if we're changing time and day for these streams, uh, just because on Wednesdays, every second Wednesday, I've got a meeting. Um, so it kind of collides with the time of the stream. So I need to figure out where to move it to so that it does not interfere with that by weekly yeah. meeting. If we can safely say that everybody will have like a week's notice before a change. Like it yes. will be announced on a stream beforehand and be like, look, we're going to change to this time, this day. Yes. Um, for anybody that did tune into V's first stream yes. last week, you will have realized that we both were like, I'm sorry, guys, yeah. we've only been here we 30 minutes. We've got to leave like <laughs> now. <stream. laughs> yeah, that was that was not ideal. So that was yeah, a really no. short stream. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll make sure that doesn't happen again. But that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful morning or afternoon or evening or night or whatever it is where you are. And uh, we are going to tune out now. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, people. Are we gone? <laughs>